All right, today I'm going to show you how to level your bed using a dial indicator and a feeler gauge. Right now the wheels are completely off, the bed is not level. I'm going to start by uh, reassembling it. Got the bed mostly uh, reassembled and kind of level. So you're going to start by preheating the bed. So right now I've got the uh, adjustment wheels tightened down a little bit, uh, pretty close to where I think the bed should be. Um, haven't done any measuring yet. Right now I'm just waiting for the thing to heat up and uh, we're going to start getting it close. So just to see how close the, uh, the reassembly of the wheels has been, you can move your x-axis down and if you're not hearing the limit switch click, uh, your, uh, your bed needs to come down a little bit more. So a couple turns evenly on each wheel and I'll get back to you when uh, this uh, x-axis doesn't run into the bed anymore. So manually articulating this, you can hear a click just before the nozzle hits the bed right now. So that means we're pretty close. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to get the dial indicator and uh, start getting the bed a little bit flat. So one of the things you try to do when uh, reassembling this thing is you try to want to keep these uh, adjustment wheels as close to each other as possible so you don't want big gaps uh, you don't want to tighten down on one and then tighten down on the other you want to kind of do everything all at once so I'm going to get this dialed in so you can see the indicator face here Alright, so we're pretty close. We're just going to adjust this. So this is now our zero here. So we're up 30 thou here. And we're down another 30 thou here. So let's bring this guy up. Move over to the next edge. We'll bring this guy down. This corner looks pretty close, and this corner is a little bit low. So you can really see just how much this bed flexes just by touching it a little bit. So now that we're close enough, let's try and move this guy to about the middle here. Eh. Let's pick a corner. So, jump down to prepare, home Z. We start by getting our feeler gauge out, and seeing if we can just barely put that guy under there. So, we still need to come down a bit. Couple turns of the knob. Yeah. Come down probably a little bit more from there. So it's important to keep track of this position right here. Exactly where your nozzle is, because that's the point that we want to zero our dial indicator off of. So we're gonna come in here, prepare. Disable steppers, so that'll allow us to move our z-axis again. And bring it back up. This is just a little bit faster than using the interface. We're going to move our bed forward a little bit, so that the bed is now where the nozzle used to be. Okay. Now we're going to zero out this guy here. all of our corners into alignment with that original position. Going back to our corner here, you can see adjusting the other corners knocked this guy out a little bit, but not too
So my bed is bowed in this direction, but if I go across this direction, eh, it's off by a couple thou. In the middle, it's quite a bit better. This side, yeah. So you're just going to have to play with this. There's a bit of a, the springs have a bit of a, eh, they're not great. But now the bed should be level. Do a test print. And then you can adjust from here, up or down. So say our bed isn't uh, close enough, and we know where our zero position is. We can bring this guy up, 10 thou, and then go to every other corner, bring every corner up by that same amount. bed is about 10 thou higher in every position and it should be uniformly higher all right hope this was helpful